Here is Phil from Maine. Hello, Phil. Hey, guys. Thanks for taking my call. What's up? Hey, not to be a Grinch, but the Twitch 12 days of Christmas, uh, nobody's winning getting Red Sox tickets, especially with what they're doing to that team. So, <laughs> well, listen, uh, hey, I mean, it's still early. Isn't it fun to go to the old ballpark anyway? Yes, it is. Mm-mm. Yes, it is. It's just too bad John Henry's the owner. Anyway, uh, so uh, what I what I really want to talk about, guys, is you know the other day we you guys uh, had interviewed uh, Coach Belichick and he had said that it was pretty much too late in the season to make any changes for yep. offensive coordinator and play caller. Yep. Um, if you remember, I believe we came out and said that we needed to change the offense this year because it was too complicated. It was too hard to handle, and they were going to actually simplify it with Matt Patricia. Okay, so please tell me where it's been simplified, because if it's been simplified and we're still doing this, we're screwed. We're screwed worse than we are. And how they can turn around and not make a change. I mean, we're one step short of taking and pulling out the playbook for the NFC annexation of Puerto Rico, for God's sakes. I, I, it was weird. Rack them. In the national reporting on that Bill interview yesterday, uh-huh. it was weird to me because in a lot of cases, they took that comment by Bill as being about the scheme as opposed to being about the play calling, uh, the play caller. Yeah, that, that and, quote really went around the world yesterday. It was pretty I, impressive. But... but <laughs> But I asked the question about if the experiment doesn't work with Patricia and Judge et al., who's to blame for it? And the the answer, you know, the bill took ownership of it. But it wasn't it's, – it's, it's not about the, the scheme. It's no. about the guy who's executing it. Correct. Yeah, it, that's, go ahead. I thought that was loud and clear with his answer. I, I, that is the only thing I took away from that. Was that he? I mean, is... maybe he wasn't answering that way. I thought he was answering. My impression of Bill answering that yesterday was it's too late to make a change when it comes to Matt Patricia. Right. But maybe Bill was answering it's too late to make any changes. I mean, I, it's not too late to make no. any changes. And it's not the, too difficult. The... But could well, you make the argument that this decision with Matt Patricia was a more damaging decision to the organization than Bill's decision to not give Brady two years at $50 million? Mm. because follow I, me here maybe damaging is the wrong word um more just brain dead decision where you you can understand the other side of the brady debate nobody's ever done it so if you're using history as a judge you should say at some point it's bill's whole tenure has been get away from a guy a year early than a year too late right so you say goodbye to brady that's an obviously historically bad decision but what he did here was he hired someone because of their ability. Uh, Phil Perry said it best yesterday. He chose uh, ability to work within the system familiarity over capability. He chose th- this guy's ability to be here and not be hired elsewhere. Consistency over capability. That's what he did. And the issue here is that you've lost the year entirely. We are now five games left. Mac is regressed immensely. Yeah. Bill knows there's an issue, won't correct it until the end of the season. So the whole reason you didn't bring in a guy like Bill O'Brien, a, a, a more competent coordinator, Nick Cayley, was because you didn't want to lose them. So you had consistency. Was that the reason or you didn't want to pay him? Well, you could look at either <laughs> way, but, but the way it was put by Perry, who's pretty close to the team, was, was putting it that you took a step back in competence because you were going to have consistency. And what now has manifested is that you're not going to have the guy that you brought in for consistency. So you lost a year, and you're going to restart the whole process next year. And all of this was foreseeable. See, yeah, Bill I think, O'Brien. I think, I think he misjudged. Mm-hmm. I think his assumption was that Matt Patricia had been around for a long time. Right. Um, you know, and would would know that would know the system better than anybody else. I think he, I think that's a mistake. But I think personnel wise, you can argue that a bigger mistake was not paying enough attention when it came to the O line. Well, see, I think well, who Bill, coaches the O line? Uh, yeah, yeah. The, and ha- and having Matt Patricia do both, but it, he also you but know, he can't he was, do either. I also think that he thought Mac had progressed much further than he had. 
He called mm-hmm. it a dramatic right. improvement from and, last season. And I think Bill O'Brien, if he comes here, he's probably, Bill's right, he's probably one and done because he wants to be a head coach, right? He doesn't want to be an offensive coordinator. So I could see the Bill O'Brien thing. You don't want to pay him a ton of money. Nick Kelly, maybe he doesn't want to go because you don't want to put offensive coordinator on the title because, you know, even though he would have been here for, you know, several years, he eventually would have had that and moved up the ladder. See, the question I always ask, right, is when you say scheme, so meaning like, okay, here's our system, here's the way we're going to do things, here's our offensive scheme. Now it's about the coordinator to call the right play within that scheme. So you get down, whether it's to the red zone, and go, okay, we got a bunch of plays here. Mm -hmm. What would work best? In this situation, and I've always thought, and what works best based on what we have previous, you know, what we've done last three, four setup plays, right? right? Correct. And I would always say that, and this is why one of the things why I thought it would be difficult for this offense, Mac Jones and Matt Patricia, is he's never done that. And so when we talk to Charlie Weiss, he is now just looking off a script and just saying, "All right, I'll call this play." And then I'll see what happens, and then I'll call the next play. Rather than being like, okay, I have to think about this three, four, five steps. Like Patricia is just in the beginning stages of learning how to play checkers. Mm-hmm. You need somebody that understands the, the game of chess when it comes to being a play caller, and that's a very difficult. It's easy. I wouldn't say easy in the sense like anybody could do it. It's but, never been done before where you've had no, a defensive coordinator be in right. charge of calling plays on offense. It's much easier to install a game plan than it is to actually call the game on Sunday. So that part of it, oh, well. And you also, the same guy is essentially the O-line coach, which he's never done before either. Right. They is true. But I know the other guy helps out on the O-line. I'm forgetting his name, uh, who played O-line. Who's been Billy here. Yates. Billy Yates, who played O-line, and he's been here for a number of years. But I, I think the O-line is more about, it's not about scheme coaching. It's about your personnel. It's about personnel. Yeah. Uh, this is Jay from North Carolina. What's up, Jay? Hey, guys. Let me shut up the speech here. I just want to say that uh, I hope that Bill Belichick's ego doesn't get in the way of the success of the Patriots. And by that, I mean that Belichick is in charge of personnel. And if the personnel ain't forming up to a snuff, then the problem lies with Bill. And Mac Jones is going to be an outstanding quarterback one day, but not if his wings are clipped. Mac Jones is in the trenches where Bill is. He, Bill's not in the trenches. Mac Jones is. And I, I grant that Mac Jones ain't a Tom Brady or an Aaron Rodgers who can read defenses in the blink of an eye. But give the young man time. And, you know, the old saying is the, the, more, the mark of insanity is to do the same thing over and over again and expect different results. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's time for a change uh, with a great Bill Belichick. Oh. If he'll, sub- he'll submit his ego and possibly uh, let Mac Jones alter the play at the line of scrimmage. Mm-hmm. Perhaps some degree of success. Right. What's your you know what uh, what, what, what's your suggestion? Uh, to fire him immediately, uh, mid mid, oh, mid, no. mid mid to end of season. No, but I'm just saying <laughs> that give give Mac Jones some ability to, de- to to some degree of success at the line of scrimmage, and maybe the unity of the organization. It's time for Bill Belichick to shrink his ego, and oh. let the let the personnel develop around him, especially Mac. He's going to be a good quarterback. You know that. You can see the potential of the young man. What? Well, can you? W- Wiggy and Shime don't yeah. do not agree. Well, and I maybe... don't know why they just don't use the exact same formula they used to build Brady and just use that on Mac, right, Wiggy? They can just get the same result. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>